He's a what? He's a punk Who? bitch. Who? The fashion boy. Nicodem? I don't like dead things. He's dead in the fluff, by the way. Is or he's, he's supposed to be dead. W what? Yeah, he was killed by um, another master. I really want to get into the lore of this because he seems like he's got a story. Yeah, Elijah Borgman, yeah. Yeah, I like him a lot. Um, and the Firestarter has a cool story. Really? And Mortimer has a cool story. I want to, I care about them. I'm so mm -hmm. invested in my team. Karis Your team was is trash and should die. Oh, which is funny because so they're dead. sad. But my team, they're good. They're trying their best. Karis was the understudy of like one of my favorite characters yes. in the whole game. And he got sent to prison. Yeah. And now she's just like, I'm going to kill everything. I like that. I, so I'm also always a big so fan she's very angry. of like the understudies, you know? The yeah. Who are just trying their best. Yeah, she was just trying her best, and her boss went to jail, and she is now like, no, nope, it all dies. Nice. And I did that. Do you hear that? So there it is, folks. That is the moment that all demo hosts and henchmen and people who push miniature games are looking for. It's that moment, the moment when they're hooked, the moment when the person learning your game is now invested and they're ready to go. And that is the subject of this video, folks, how we run demos, especially for Malifaux third edition. So here we go. go all right hey what's up everybody we're here with Yvonne say Hello. hi Yvonne and all right so let's meet Yvonne Yvonne is brand new to miniature gaming just a couple of weeks ago I taught her the GW game war cry which is a very very simple game and so we're jumping into the deep end of the pool folks we are jumping into Malifaux third edition so how does someone like Yvonne jump from Warcry, which is really just move and attack for the most part, jump into Malifaux 3rd Edition, arguably the most intricate miniature game out there. So the first thing I would say for a demo for the non-gamer, the goal is not to learn Malifaux. It's true. That's not what you're trying to do during your first demo. And let me emphasize, that's your first demo, not, uh, not for Folks like uh, Andrew over at the Brothers of War, who is a dedicated miniature gamer, who's going to jump out and buy product and start talking about things on his channel right away. So go ahead and sub to him. That's not the goal here, though. T today we're teaching Yvonne. And so the true goals for teaching somebody who is new to miniature gaming, and especially Malfo, is we're trying to get them engaged. We're trying to get them invested. And the main thing is they want to be eager to try the game again. So they're not trying to learn the rules they're really trying to learn the world and gain enough interest to get back into that world. And that's going to change your mindset uh, when you're approaching a game demo as intricate as Malifaux. Shaping that um, demo to work for your audience and really with the goal of keeping their interest. And that's what you're trying to do. You're trying to grab interest and keep their interest because ultimately you don't know what type of player they will become. You don't know what motivates them, especially when they're brand new to the miniature gaming world. And the goal is really just to bring this player into that world, to get them excited about it, to get them um, really invested in in the world, in the characters, and understand that, hey, they're going to learn, maybe retain maybe 10% of what they learn in that first game demo. And so you really want to have just big, broad concepts in front of them, but ultimately this is about inviting them to that world. So, you know, and, and you know, long-term thing is you want a game with fun players like this. Like, you want to have that fun banter. It's always interesting to bring in an outside perspective, somebody that has not played miniature games before. And uh, I actually had a really good interview with Yvonne afterwards, but there was a crazy mic accident that happened in the middle of our demo. So I'm making do with uh, some silent footage here. Uh, this is actually the late rounds of the game that she and I recorded. So I apologize to Yvonne because you, you ha she had so many like really cool, insightful things to say about the game and her experience with the game. But we're going to use this um, footage here to just kind of talk about, in general, 
how do you approach teaching folks that have never played a miniatures game a game as intricate as Malifaux? So we're going to get into that. It's uh, So what you're going to watch after um, my voiceover is done is really the first couple of rounds of the game that we had together. And this is actually the second game, and you can see what she's picked up and how invested she is. Uh, so this is really the second demo. So anyways, I hope you guys go ahead and enjoy this. And we are learning a Malifaux today, right? Yes, we are. So what are you playing today, Yvonne? Uh, the Fire Boys. <laughs> yes, the fire you're playing boys? the Wildfire Crew. Uh, sure, yeah. Yeah, that's the that's the keyword. Oh, you can see Wildfire on look all at their that, cards. the Wildfire yeah. Crew. I'm and, playing and the what Wildfire it, Crew. And who's on the Wildfire Crew? Well, we've got Zuko. <laughs> um, we've got we've got someone who's very burned. Fire starter. Fire yeah. starty, star <laughs> fire starter. <laughs> And then we've got the queen. Her name is Karis. Karis. And I love her. Yep. She's my favorite. And you got the little crab eternal boy. flame. The crab boy. Mm -hmm. I'm playing Nicodem. So we got fresh mint purple there. It's lavender. It's lavender. lavender. It's really Nicodem. fashionable. And then the fashionable zombie, mm -hmm. also in lavender. We have a grave digger. We have the vulture on that side. And we've got I'm, is he good the old Mad Mortimer. Hatter? Mortimer, he's the... He he's looks the, like the Mad Hatter. He's kind of like an Igor type. Oh, really. I love it's Igor. Yes. And this particular strategy is plant explosives. Cool. And we have a couple of schemes that we picked. Uh, this is kind of a starter game, so Yvonne is still learning the game, mm -hmm. and we'll get going from there. Okay, so let's talk nuts and bolts of the actual demo. Ideally, you want the demo to run about 30 minutes, at least under an hour would be great. You want about three to five models per side. And you want to make sure that you're going to jump straight into the action. You don't want you don't want that first turn set up. So you're going to allow scoring to happen on the first turn, like henchman hardcore. Um, and you you may be playing on a smaller mat, and we're playing on a two by two mat. Uh, and some other things to do here is we want to focus on concepts rather than individual rules. You will get some things wrong, but as long as the big concepts are there, you also want to play for themes and big moments, big cinematic things like summoning the big zombie. Uh, finally, you want to avoid excessive reading. So help guide your, your player through the rules, like help talk them through and explain it in a little thematic way. Um, the main so we're really just going to show the first turn here. If you guys are enjoying this video and you want to see more of Yvonne and I uh, playing some more miniature games, hopefully Malifo, maybe even some other games, leave a like and a comment letting you know, letting us know that you want to see more like this. Can I move her like over here? Yeah. If you want, if you prefer to be there. I mean, she has flying, so nothing sure. matters. I'm yeah. just going to put her near a crate because it's fun. <laughs> All right. So now we're we're gonna play with closed hand this time, so you do not know what the other person has. And then we get the hand is six. Six. Whoa. Two, three, four, five, six. And then you can use the soul stone to discard two. To to draw two and discard two. I am happy with where I'm at. Okay. Okay. Discarding a one and a two. <laughs> Okay, and then we'll flip for a turn. Ooh, four and a 12, so you have initiative. You can go first, Ooh. and you also have one pass token because you have uh, one fewer model than I have. Okay, cool. <clears throat> let's get these over. All right, um, I still don't really understand what, what the pass token is. So what you could for, do, but... let's say, because sometimes going first, first activation on first turn is usually kind of a dead Yes. Activation. So you could just say, I'm going to use my pass token. Okay. Or you could even say, I'm going to give you first turn, even because you won the flip. Okay. And force me to go first, which is um, also a really good idea. Then I'll do that. Okay. So you're going to make me go first. I'm going to go with, let's go with Mortimer. Yes, both. <laughs> yes. He's, he uh, sounds like the Mad Hatter. <laughs> <laughs> he has a movement of... Four. And yep, so he'll go four to there. Mm -hmm. uh, and he is going to try to do Grave Robber. This is stat six needing, uh, sorry, stat six, target number 12 needing a six. Oh, wasted amazing card. 
and I'll drop a corpse marker there. And then for my last action, um, hmm, I guess I'll just concentrate. Give myself a happy star instead of the sad star. Yeah, the sad stars are red. Okay. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Um, okay, so my goals are to hit you and... Plant do, dynamite. Plant dynamite and do these things. And do those things. And the vendetta thing is... Yes. Henchman is mad at... Now, yes. Normally or, those aren't revealed. Oh. But Shh. I'm... Yeah. <laughs> you didn't know that. Yeah, we don't know. Okay. Don't tell right. him. <laughs> but we know she's mad at, at Mortimer because he talks too much. Big mood. Okay. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to move her seven inches. Okay. Because that's what she can do. Mm -hmm. right? And she can fly. She can and because I've inches. activated already, I don't have manipulative. Okay. So you, you're not at a minus. So I don't have to do like the concentration. Right, right. Whatever. Mm -hmm. That was seven inches, I think. Sure. Um, can I still hit you through this bar here? Yes. Okay. Then I guess I'm going to attack you Kay. with a conflagration. Conflagration. Love that word. So many syllables. Um, and then it's stat six against defense? Yes. Stat six against defense five. Okay. Um, which means I win. Oh, gosh. I win hard. That hurt bad. Okay. Okay. So, so with Red Joker is 14, any suit. Uh, so 14, any trigger you any want. Any suit. So I have two flame wall. Target must have burning plus three. You do not have burning plus three. Mm -hmm. You will. Not yet. <laughs> um, models damaged by this action gain burning plus one for each book in this action's final duel total. So. So you're going to give me burning plus two. I'm going to give much. you burning plus two, but I, I have to do but damage. But we have to do damage. So you're at. 14 plus, plus six, six. So, so you're at 20. 20. I'm at six. So wow. you're beating me by 14, and I'm not allowed to cheat. So you're. this is what's called a plus flip. So you're going to flip two cards, take the higher card. Okay. Unless it's a black joker. Don't do that. And this uh, is also cheatable. Okay. So but you're I have moderate. The tomes. Mm -hmm. But the tomes is what gives the you tomes the... The tomes we ignore for the flip. Oh, but... Uh, in other words, each tome in this final duel total. But this is the this is okay. The, got the, it. Got it. Yeah. Um, awesome. So. So I gain burning plus two, and yeah. then moderate, unless you want to cheat in an eleven, which Let's I don't see. know if you want to, to be honest. Yeah, I don't want to. Okay. How much so is moderate? Moderate is three damage. That's pretty nice. Okay. Good start. And you still have. Oh, you can. Take a wound to gain fast and mm -hmm. do one more thing if you want. You are correct. I can't. How much damage does he have? And he needs. He has five health left. Okay, so I, I am definitely going to hit him again. Okay. Um, that's a ten. Big time. Plus Oop. six, so sixteen. I'm at eighteen with my thirteen. Um. So you're going to want a twelve or a thirteen. Do I want to use? Do I want to? Uh, I do get it's yeah. a v, it's a VP if yeah, you do. Yeah, exactly. I'm gonna do it. Nice. Uh, so you're gonna go to 18, tying yeah. me. All and right. And that means I win, right? That but means with you a win. Minus. Right. So. so this is a minus two. Mm-hmm. So we're gonna flip three cards. Oh, I flip. Severe, severe. Oh, weak. Wow. That was <laughs> <really> <laughs> that was weird. that was a letdown. In there. So okay. two more damage. Mm hmm Okay. And uh, then is this when I get to reveal? I want to. Yeah, I'll just take the two damage. Yeah, now you can reveal you have um, vendetta. And this is where she looks at him and says, I hate you. She <laughs> looks at him she and says, says, shut up, Mortimer. Stop talking. <laughs> okay, we did it. Okay. We did it, boys. Did it? Good. Uh, and then it's your turn. All I'm right. going to mark that I moved with this one because I can never remember who I've moved with. It's a good call. This turn. All right, I'm going to go with this, this bird, this caca right here. It's going to take its free action to carry that corpse. And it's going to move eight with flight. So it'll go six and two more. And it's just going to go right there. Yeah, it's not doing anything. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. He's just gonna go right there and just don't, don't. drop a corpse ah, right there. That's I hate all. This. There's. This you know is what? completely. Uh, no one is. 
outside of the lore of whatever's <laughs> happening right now, I really want the crab and the bird to become friends. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's my sub goal. The victory points that I get are based on them being If friends. they hugged, the bird would die. Aww. That's so you're a heartbreaking. Flaming crab Star robot. Crossed friends. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Is it my turn now? It is your turn. Um, so this person is gone. Um, where's your where's your boss dude? Boss man is back here. Okay. He's over there. Mm-hmm. And now I'm all tangled up. <laughs> I've got him there. Should he just go in and hit the bird? I feel like, no. No? I feel like you should wait for stuff to develop over here. Yeah, probably. they're gonna like move over and stuff. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're going to- I think Karis should go, if you ask me, but. You think Karis should go? Because she can put down pyre markers. Okay. She can start burning. You're right, you're right. I she was can, planning on um, moving the crab and like having him do some, do some stuff. But, you but the right. crab is better when there's a pyre marker down. You're right. You're so right. <laughs> you're bad at this game because you're I'm bad because I'm helping you, yes. I, st I need the help, though. <laughs> um, okay. Why did you do that? Yeah, I think she's going to move around and drop a pyre marker. Okay. So her movement is six, and she has flight. Yes. So she's going to go this way? Yep. That's one movement there. Um, and then she can drop the pyre within 12 inches, I believe. Yep. Yeah, within 12 inches. So what she's going to do is drop that there easily within 12 Which inches. Which you have to cast it. Oh, I do have, it's not there yet. It's not I'll there yet. That. And I need to be five? You need a five. That's a three. Okay. I want to cheat that. You got to have a five in there. Yeah, I got to have a five in there. Um, and I'm going to do a six with the masks because masks give me swift action. Ooh. So I get to do it again. You do it again. Right? So Which I do means, this. yeah, you put the first one down and then you're going to cast I'm going to cast it again to put it right there. Okay. And that's a four, which is not. But. Which is not above it. But I'm just going to do that. Cheat that in. Cheat that in. And I'm going to put this there. Um, so I've got two pyres there. Oh, no. And she's only taken one action. Yeah. Um, so she's probably gonna wanna like hit something, right? So what do you call it when we can't, I can't move around the board. Board control. It's called board control. Board control, we got it. <laughs> okay. I'm learning words. Um, <laughs> and then she's going to want to hit something. And she yeah. can only hit things within eight inches, which she's not right now, but she can. But. You can run and gun, right? You can yeah, charge, charge and then shoot something. That's something we can do. So she's going to go this way. Is that within eight inches of that dude? Yes. Okay. Then she's going to go do that. So you're going to go there. And then she's going to she's gonna shoot through the fire at yes, him, which is very so cool. Super cinematic. We want to talk about that. And then this only costs one action, right? Because she's... That is correct. Yeah. So... Um, and you're shooting at my grave digger? Yeah, and the stat is six defense. Defense five. So I need a. You just gotta beat me. Okay. It's and you destroyed me. I did. I'm at eight, and you're at uh, nineteen. Nineteen. Cheating's to me. I'm gonna cheat just to put you in a negative for the duel. So okay. I'm gonna cheat up to thirteen. Thirteen. Making the difference six. Because I'm at nineteen. <gasps> That's not good enough. Never mind. I'm just gonna be. I'm just gonna take pain and cry. Okay. So, so that <laughs> so means I just get a plus, right? You get a plus on this. So I flip this two. This is rough. And the higher I take. Yes. So I got a seven. Oh, and Ooh. then, but you black joker. So. Does that mean nothing wah, happens wah, at all? Yes. You know, this is damage? Even though this is damage. This works nothing like D&D &D and I don't like this that. This is, the black joker is terrible. I it hate it. It means bad things. Well, it's okay. But you can you still have one more. Because she's gonna hit him again. Yes. Never mind. she's not. Um, I've got a plus six. nine and I'm at 11. 11? Hmm. What can I do with this? Um, are there any markers around here? No. That doesn't help me. Nothing's out there yet. Uh, wait, so what do I need to beat that? Uh, you need a five or better. Five or better? Basically. Because you're beating me by one stat. Got it. Okay. 
Um, yeah, hmm. I'll just use the eight. Eight? To hit you. So cheating goes back to me. You're at 14. Mm -hmm. You gotta be kidding me. Now I'm gonna let it happen. Okay. okay. So difference of uh, three. Three, so it's a minus one. So it's a minus one. Look at you. Look at me. Look at you. Wasting severe, a lot of Love that. Severe moderate. Okay. How much so is moderate? Moderate for that one is three and then uh, burning plus one. Ouch. Okay. And then let me give you a little bit of burning. Okay. There you go. And that's her three actions? Yep. But she does she have a bonus action? She does, but we already did it because it was the pyres. Oh, so one charge. You have one more action then. Wait, no, because... Oh, you moved. you right. You were over there. Yeah, I was you over moved. here, so I moved. So you moved, that was charged, an and then, charged, and then and shot then again. Charged, and then missed because of the Joker. Ha ha. Ha ha ha. I hate the Joker. Ha ha ha. Okay. Okay. So it's to me? Mm-hmm. All right. Let's go with the Gravedigger, who's about to die. Uh, did I do recent funeral? What does that mean? Recent funeral. Leave a corpse marker at the start of the game. Aw. Um... Oh man! And I have a walk of five. Wait, wait, sorry. What? Go. So would that have been there when I attacked? Yes. Do you want to wipe it out? Yes. You yes. Can, okay. Because I think because you had the trigger for that. Yeah. Okay. I believe. And oh. if I didn't, I'm sorry. Sadness. You burned my corpse. I really. They make me so uncomfortable. So Just like the fact one. that corpses are lying around. So I'll go four. I think and then the, the one fire more is more motivated five. to clean than anything else. It's like, oh, it's so dirty in here. Ugh. So I'm going to go there, and then I'm going to, my second action, I'm going to drop a dynamite right there. Does that count as my side of the board? No, it doesn't. Ha <laughs> ha. Ugh. <laughs> Still. Oh, this is not a straight edge. No, it's so not. So it does. I mean, so it does corner count. to corner. It's not even close. Really? Yeah. Dang. Okay. Because the corner is there. Never mind then. Straight line would be like right through her. Crud. Well, I can't even get this shot. There you go. Sad times. Okay. Well, it's just going to be dumb. And then it's going to... <laughs> Me too. It's okay. We've all been there. I'm going to try for a uh, grave robber. Okay. So I need a four. Got a four. And let's drop another corpse counter. Woo! Don't like them. Even though he didn't, he can't follow directions. He figures, this is far enough, master. Did I do it? Did I do it? I'm Just helping. Pat, pat. You're, you're trying your best. <laughs> Good job, buddy. Aim for effort. He's on fire. Give him a break. Okay. You know Here what? Here you go. Yeah. Um, okay, what's Zuko doing? He's hanging out. Zuko's my favorite. Um, and then we've got... I'm going to lower this point. a little bit more. Boop. There we go. <clears throat> okay. Okay, so... Crap boy. Yeah. He's not like... too bad. He's poised to do some he's cool, poised cool to, stuff. Yeah. Um, I don't need models within... Okay. So he is going to... Move and then do some stuff. So the pipes. Are you sure you can't just do the stuff from where you're at? It's within 10 inches. I don't think I'm 10 inches. You are. I am? Yes. You're so good at this guessing. Yeah. Yes. Wow. You are well wow. within 10 inches. There you go. Let's just um. Okay. do that. Although it'll hurt my, my love. Karis? It'll hurt Karis. Does she care? Uh, does she care? Not really. Not really. You're right. No. And if she's burning, you can just use that to yes. win other things. She doesn't care. Yeah, okay. So she's going to probably be burning too. But uh, he's going to... Now, here's the funny um, thing. You can choose to lose that duel automatically and not flip a card. If you just want the burning. You can say, oh, oh she'll just take burning. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it also gives her uh, suffer one damage, which I don't like. Yeah, so, it's true. Yeah. Um, but yeah, he's going to... So Make. it doesn't say enemy models, it just says just, It just models. says models. Okay. Models yeah. within That's everybody. two of the man with his arms up, which I That's think is called inches. a pulse. But yes, pulse two. Is it inches? Yes. Okay. <laughs> the man with his arms up. The man with his arms up. Which I will only call it. Um, <laughs> so yeah, models within two pulses of the target must each pass a TN13 movement duel or suffer one damage and gain burning plus one. 
Sounds good. Yeah, so you have Kay. to do that with that yep. dude. Oh, uh, well, first you have to oh, successfully have cast to? it. That's right. It's like That's a five, right. I think. E! No. I suck. Please tell me you have a five. I don't, I have above five, but I feel like that's not worth it. You know? Then just do it again then. Yeah, maybe. I'll just do it again. Let it fail. Yeah, let okay. it fail. Do it again. That's a seven. There it goes. Okay. I did it. So movement five, I need an eight. No. And one damage. Burning. <laughs> hmm. Am I gonna contest it? Cause I kind of want her to have burning, but I don't want damage. She doesn't really have healing, does oh, she? Oh, wow. No, not... I oh, uh, any models treat prior markers as hazardous? So, like, when... Yeah. Okay, that doesn't change anything at this point. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna contest it. Okay. But if not, I'm not so gonna... You need to... Yeah. I saved, because that's six. I needed to beat five. Right? You need... No, you need to beat 13. Oh, never mind. And it's movement? So you need a seven. Well, she'll take it. Okay. Take the burn. Take a burning. And then one damage. Okay. Because she can use the burning. Yep. You know you can soulstone damage too. If you get oh, ever really? get hit too hard. Okay. You can you can absorb damage with it. How much? Just like one, two, or three. Okay. Okay. Just like the other flip. So it's to me? Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's go with the big boss. And that was the crab's turn. The big boss. Uh the big boss is gonna go. He's so fashionable. I really like how they pretty much all match. So I'm gonna put him right in there. Like, look at how dramatic his coat is. Look at that flare. You know who told me to do that? Was it me? Right after you went to bed. Oh. Mark was like, no, now he needs to match. He needs to match. <laughs> he needs to be perfect. Oh gosh. Okay, so we're gonna try. Oh yes. We're gonna try for, so one action to walk there. Mm -hmm. Next action to make sure I have. He's so <laughs> slow. I'm gonna cast Reanimator on that thing. It's your favorite thing and you love it, you I know. I hate it. All right, uh, so, and I'm gonna try to make a flesh construct. So, need an 11 crow, almost got it. But let's just get it. And let's put this thing right here. And then the corpse token goes away? And the corpse token goes away. Uh, and then Oddly he gains enough, the sad star. Yeah, I like that more than I like the corpse token being there because it makes me uncomfortable. Because it makes you uncomfortable? Like why just a pile of dead things just hanging out? <laughs> and then I'm gonna try to do decay on my grave robber. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is just stat six and I'm gonna flip a card. Oh! And I'll choose to fail it. Oh, he's not undead. Huh? Oops. What? Did I just kill my own guy? I think I did. What? Cried. Well, what? he'll try to defend. Oh. I have no idea. I'm going to have to. Right okay. I thought he was undead, so I was trying to heal him. It didn't work. I'll have Nicodem cheat down and go. Just kidding. Sorry. Didn't mean to Wait. do that. What was he? Oh, he was. He trying was trying to, to heal him. Oh. So he has this spell called decay, okay. which uh, which hurts living things but heals undead things. <laughs> and for a second there, I forgot that grave diggers count as living. Okay. Which is super bad. Oops. Okay. Then I'll try to make a corpse marker. Cause yes, let's do that. Do I have a low crow? I do. It's more fun. It's I love more that you fun. cast a spell on him, and we're like, wait, wait. Oh, wait, sorry. Oh. Sorry. Oh. I'll make another zombie right there. Okay. okay. And he gets the sad star. The red star of sadness. Okay, and your go. What does the red star of sadness do? Uh, slow. Okay, that just means... One fewer one, action. Okay. So I've got Zuko right there. Yep. He's probably going to hit that dude, probably. Why not? Yeah. It's a good idea. And he's got two actions. He's right there. So, like, let's hit that dude. <laughs> All right, stat six against defense. And what's your defense? Uh, my defense is five, I want to say. Defense is four. Okay. Stat six against defense four. Mm -hmm. Don't you want to do your special thing first? Uh, you're or right. Not? I mean, yeah, because it's just healing and then gaining plus burning. Mm hmm And you don't need to heal, but burning is always good. Burning is good. Okay, okay. so you'll and do that. And I need to beat five because it's stat six 
target eleven. St right? Yes, so you need a five. You need a five. And it's a one, so I failed. Yes, but you can cheat it. Do you want to? Not really. I then mean, just don't. Yeah. And then <laughs> okay. Now, now I'm gonna hit you with a great now sword. Now you can hit me with a great sword. Okay. Ooh. Oh, that hurt a lot. Yeah. So uh, that's that's I have a nineteen is... and then I also have an effect for tome. Oh I gonna have to let it go. Okay. Because so that's a my cards suck. How much did I win by then? You won by I'm at because uh, I'm at nineteen. Seven. So you won by twelve. Twelve. That's ooh, that's a go plus me. one. And then the blade. And then so the blade. So it's plus two. Wow. Okay. So models damaged by this action gain burning plus one for each tome in this action's final dual total. Which so I'm gonna gain two burning for this. Yeah. And then I flip three cards. Yes. And take the highest. Take the highest. Eleven. That's a severe. So then I just get one severe. Yep. So then that's Whoa. five damage plus burning two. Oh gosh. Wow. wow. Good, good job. Good job. <laughs> what a good boy. Okay, and then... You can do it again. Wait, let me read what this immolate thing is. I don't really understand. Target suffers damage from the burning condition equal to the value of its burning condition to yeah. a maximum of five damage. So you could do two damage to me, or you could do two damage to the gra uh, Gravedigger. Uh, Gravedigger's at... He's at three health. Three health? And he's Oops. at four health. Let's just hit now. Agreed. Because I could do over. I could like. You could kill him. spike again. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, Thirteen. Oh gosh, you did spike again. Yep, I sure did. So I'm that's at. A 19. Uh, you're at nine. I'm at nine. Oh, I forgot my hard to win, but it's okay. Um, so you're at nineteen, and I'm at eleven. So this is straight damage, hard to wound, and your great sword cancel. So it's one card. Cheetah okay. Bowl. Big card. Big card. Two. Not big card. Um, you have a six. You gotta have a six, right? I mean, I definitely have above a six. Do I want to use it on this? It's up to you. That would kill that would, me oh, outright. That would kill. Yeah. And then I don't really have anything exciting that happens with crows, so I'm gonna do that. What's the middle damage? Uh, four. Yeah. Four. Okay. It's enough to kill him. Mm -hmm. ah! I don't know. He left the corpse though. Ah, I hate that. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, undo. Do you? Yep. Okay. So that messy. was rough. Okay. Uh, so he's done, right? Yes, he is done. And he did a great job. He did a good Let's job. Let's just say Zuko did a good job. Okay. I'm going to go with the uh, fashionable zombie. Yes. Yes, queen. High fashion. <laughs> High fashion zombie is going to go over here and be a super good boy and uh, do the assist action to reduce the burning by one. So I'm proud of him. Was I using He's fanning the flames. <laughs> fanning out the just, flames. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> So, was that his second action? Yeah, one action do that, second action do that. Got it. Okay, your go. Um, I'm done. You're I was totally done? Okay, I'll go with this last guy who's slow this turn, so he's just gonna go there. Okay, okay. so that's the end of the first turn. Um, that failed. You didn't drop a dynamite. Well, if I but, dropped a dynamite, it'd have to be on your side. But you on. have one for the revealed um, vendetta. <laughs> I do. Okay. I do. I still have my. And you still my have that. Token. And we're gonna go to second turn.